Hello, my name is Ty, and I am 17 weeks on testosterone. Um, it's very exciting for me. I 95% of the time pass as male in public, I'd say. So that's really cool, really new. Um, yeah, it's awesome. So uh, I'd like to talk about my changes. <clears throat> so... My facial hair has been coming in more, like you can't really see it, <laughs> but um, I can definitely feel it. And when I get close up in the mirror, I can see it. So <laughs> that's a pretty good feeling. Um, yeah, hopefully it will darken a bit and thicken a bit so people can actually see it. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> it'll, it'll come in time. Um... I've also been getting a little bit like of acne on like both sides here and then down here a little bit. I think it's because like my facial hair is coming in, so it doesn't really bother me. I mean, like it's nothing bad anyways, like you can't even see it. So, <laughs> um, just <laughs> I guess sometimes the downfall is that it hurts, but um, that's about it. It actually makes my skin, I think, look a little more masculine, so I'm actually happy about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, no big deal. Uh, my eyebrows are <clears throat> definitely thickening, which is pretty cool. Makes me look a little more masculine. Um, I'm getting a little bit more uh, arm hair and hair on my stomach hair on my legs, on my thighs, uh, yeah, that's about it, <laughs> um, also, I'm pretty sure, like, my shoulders, uh, definitely, like, when I work out, like, they get a little bigger, um, my, <clears throat> my chest has, <clears throat> sorry, um, my chest has been getting a little um, more defined, I'd say. Uh, I do exercises, so just trying to, um, reduce the size of my chest, I guess. So, basically, before my chest used to be more, um, I guess, like, up, like, <coughs> and <laughs> there's my dog. Um, <clears throat> but now I find when my muscles growing it's kind of pushing the upper part of my chest down and making the upper part of my chest more flat which definitely helps with my dysphoria because um yeah i haven't had chest surgery and um i guess as i keep changing with testosterone um i get a little bit more dysphoric about my chest just because like i am passing Yet still, I have this chest on me that, um, I just, yeah, I guess I feel like I need to hide it more in a way. But I've always felt like that, so, I mean, it's not really changed, but, um, I just think I have more of those dysphoric days where I notice that it's still there. And, you know, I have to pick my clothes differently. And honestly, like, I just can't wait until I get my chest surgery. It's taking longer than I expected for the doctors to sort everything out. So that's a real big blow. I thought I'd have it off by the next term. And I'm not saying that I won't, but it's not looking the greatest. So... Uh, I mean, I'm still hoping. I'm still hoping. Um, yeah, just um, I wanted to update because I haven't made a video in so long. And yeah, like I'd like it if anyone had questions for me um, that they'd come forth and ask because it would make me talk about my transition a little more anyways, which... You know, I definitely don't mind. I'm very open. Um, the things I've been doing in terms of trying to involve myself more in my transition and kind of get out there and educate people, 
um, I wrote a trans article for the Wellness Center at my school, and I am very excited for it to come out. Um, you know, like I got to put some examples from there, oh, in the article from my life that have affected me. Um, I'll use the examples of the washroom, I guess, because, I mean, it's uh, pretty clear that um, male and female washrooms are not very ideal for someone who is going through transition because I mean you're kind of at an in-between stage in transition well I feel that um, people might perceive me as being um, still like either female or male it's getting better now with my voice um, so I definitely feel more comfortable using the male washroom than the female washroom now. But um, before I started testosterone, um, I really wanted to go in the male washroom. And I did. But um, there would be some places or, I guess, some moments where I would feel uncomfortable or even threatened to be in the male washroom. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad that's changed a bit. <clears throat> um, also, uh, I wanted to just put this out there for trans masculine, um, individuals who might be interested in helping a fellow trans man out. Um, Skyler, he has been making YouTube videos for, <laughs> I guess as long as I've, well, maybe like four years ago. Yeah, four years ago, I guess, because, yeah, that's when I started watching his videos. Um, <laughs> but now he is doing a project on rehumanizing the trans community, and I think it is so freaking cool. Um, I'm participating in it. I am so excited. He basically wants um, trans masculine identified individuals um, to take pictures of their life and normalize the community. And also, like, just, like, write little blurbs about whatever you take a picture of. And honestly, I just am so excited to get started and start planning my pictures. It's going to be an amazing experience for me because I get to... It's a project that will help me embrace what I'm going through and embrace who I am. And... Yeah, I guess just, like, help normalize the community, uh, help spread awareness. Uh, because I'm definitely going to tell people that I'm participating in a project like this. Because it's very exciting, and, you know, I couldn't contain myself even if I wanted to, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just putting it out there. But, um, I'm not sure if he has any more funding to send any more cameras out, but, um, Trans men who I don't don't mind spending a little money on um, a disposable camera and to send it to him. Uh, I just think it would be freaking great if people did that. Um, yeah, because it also like like I said like helps embrace who you are as a person and. I like how it's focused on not just who I am um, in terms of my trans identity, but who I am as a person. And yeah, I think it is going to be a really empowering experience. So thank you, Skylar, for <laughs> um, coming out with the project and, you know, moving it forward. It's going to be just a great experience. Um, so yeah, um, I don't think anything more is that new in terms of my transition. Um, yeah, but I will definitely keep updating. I, yeah, I like, um, you know, uh, making videos so I can go back and see where I've been in each stage of my transition, but also I like putting myself out there and really being able to spread awareness about the community and um yeah definitely <laughs> i'm liking it um transition is going great again just 
a little more dysphoric about my chest and about my female body wanting it to um, really hurry up and change. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I know I can't really, I've only been like four and a half months on testosterone and I can't believe it's at that point already, but in other words, you know, <laughs> on the other side of that, I really am hoping for, well, I'm kind of impatient, I guess, for my changes, and I just really want them to continue as, you know, great as they have been, and um, I say, like, you know, the further I get on testosterone, I think, um, the more comfortable I get with myself and the more um, it's helping my, I guess, mental well-being, which is very, like such a big relief. Um, yeah. So anyways, um, till next time, peace. <laughs>